Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to paint the yellow robin, um, the yellow breasted robin on a little canvas, just a little box canvas. I've um, prepped the board, the prepped the uh, canvas by one quart of gesso and um, a mixture of white and a touch of Victoria blue and just washed over it. And then I've um, placed the pattern on the top. And the brushes I'm using are Royal Lang Nickel, it's a little 1 8 Zen, and a, a Zen a Zero. Okay. And I'll tell you the uh, deco art paints and I'll, I'll uh, tell you the colours as we go along. I'm going to start with the the fine liner, the zero, and uh, just a little bit of water. Touch it on the paper towel and pick up some black. Okay, and then I'm just going to rock that in like so. And then I'll block the beacon. Well, I'm just blocking in at the moment. We'll come back and highlight after. There we are. And then I'll use the one eighth angle brush and we'll work on the tail. I'm going to mix up a, um, a grey. So we're going to go into the white first. Pick up just a little black and we'll just play with that till we're happy. A little bit more white. There we are, that'll be fine. And then all I want you to do is just, I'm sitting up on the chisel of the brush, just pull that in. Again, we'll come back afterwards and give it some life. There we are. Wash the brush and we'll work on this little tail. So we're going to go back and pick up the grey mixture that we've made with the angle brush and I'm just going to bring that in a little bit dark, pick up a little bit more white, just pull it in, down, pull in, down, pull in, just on the chisel, down, pull in. And there's another little one here. Pick up more dark. I'll just run that round the top. Like so. Wash your brush. Now we want a, um, to mix up a lighter grey. Some more white. Just a little of that black. Very light grey. Turn your piece around, it makes it easier, like so. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to sit up on the chisel and come back like that. Just touch it. Put a wee bit too much on the brush. Just chop it in. Right up to the eye. Down here. I hope all our, my American friends are having a great 4th of July. Staying safe and um, enjoying it anyway. As you, we're all isolating. And a little bit more of the grey again and we'll just go around here. Lighten this up, so don't worry. A little bit more white. It's a little bit lighter in here. Just chop in with the point of the brush. Then just blend it out. 
follow that direction of the feathers. There we are. Smush the brush a little. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white on the point of that brush, see, like so. If you feel you've got too much paint on that and you want to take some off, just run your finger just along there just to grab it and take off that extra paint. Okay? Just like so. And then we'll just run it around like that. There we are. Now that's a wee bit bright, so what I'll do is I'll go back in the black again and just push some of it off with the black, just like so. And pick up a little bit of white on the point of the brush and just put in a little, just a little highlight. There you go. Wash your brush. Now we've got to come back and put highlights and shadows in that, but I'd like to put a coat of yellow on the on the tummy first. So what we'll do is pick up the um, use the one eighth angle. Load up your brush with the the yellow. The yellow we're using is the Americana Premium. It's a really nice paint to use that one also. And then in the the follow the angle of the feathers down and round, and we're just blocking that in. It's going to take a couple of good coats to There we are. That'll dry pretty quick. Just take some out there. Okay, and what I should have done was put a little bit of that yellow on the, the tail because there is a little bit there. So we'll just chop that in. Just like so. Wash your brush again. Then we'll come back and we'll do the top of the head. Just switch that around. Pick up some white with this angle brush. I'm just going to use a point, just here. And I'll bring some fine little lines in. If you feel more comfortable with a fine liner, just use a fine liner. I like using the angle brush. I do use a fine liner too quite often, but it's whatever you feel comfortable. This will probably take two or three videos. Um, I'll see how we go. A little bit under here. Let's pull it out. Okay. I'm just going to go back a little again with the white. Just here. with the point of the chisel. And then it's quite strong underneath the chin, so we'll put that in too. off on your paper towel and just run it across the top of the beak. Just dry brush it a little. Just slowly and then load up a little bit more of the white. 
better to take two or three coats than try and do it in one. There we are. Okay, now we can go back and give this belly a little bit more yellow. So load all your brush up with the yellow and then come back again. I'm happy for anyone that would like to share this video, videos with um, your friends. I'm happy to do that. In fact, what I may do is, is have a prize for the person who shared it the most. Um, I can do that. I, um, if you can, the, the more friends you can share the videos with, um, I'll, I'll give a prize out, okay? Could be one of these little yellow breasted robins, I think. Okay. I'll just finish here and then um, in the next video we'll do a little bit more, okay? Um, enjoy the process and have fun. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.